up everyone it is your girl jail beauty 87 here aka grace honey and today we're gonna get into this new love what is it called love desire collection oh, sorry hearts desire collection from pat mcgrath so i got the lipstick i was talking about in the shade honey haze i got the highlighter here and i got the eye quad to compare to the actual palette that's already out that we have been told has all the same shades in it so Without further ado, honey, let's get into it. I want to start off by swatching the new highlighter, Nude Opal, against all these other highlighters I have from Pat McGrath. Because I love her highlighter formula. I think it's really nice. So I want to see how it compares to... Sorry, y'all, with the hair stuff on my arm. Compares to the other highlighters I have. So this is Nude Opal. I feel like it looks similar to some of the other shades. And you might not necessarily need to get it. So I wanted to make sure I got it to keep you from having to get it. Because... I know there are some people out there who love her highlighter formula just like I do. So I want you to see like you might have a similar one or one that's close enough in tone where you don't need to do that. So here's what it looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and start swatching against some other ones. So I have the shade Golden Nectar here. This is from the first collection she came out with. I think she came out with... So first she came out with the Hockey Puck highlighter. It was terrible. Then she came out with the second set of highlighters. That was the... um. The rose gold one in that little um pink pan that formula was pretty nice then she finally settled on this gelee one right here like i said this is golden nectar and this is the one that came out with the first set of blushes so i'm going to swatch it i just hate messing up the embossment because it looks so pretty i'm just like yes i don't want to but what has to be done has to be done so oh i'm trying to make sure nothing falls out of my lap because y'all know mother is not cheap Make sure I get enough off. So this is Nude Opal right here. You can see. I don't feel like it has necessarily a certain fluorescent finish to it of a certain tone, if you will. Like I expected it to. And then this is Gold Nectar. So I feel like this one is a little bit more icy and Gold Nectar is a little bit more champagne, if you will. So that is what I noticed off the first one. So that's the one that comes in the purple packaging, which came out with the blushes, the first set of blushes. Now this one came out with the second set of blushes. It's called Golden Highlighter. Sorry, the Gold Moonlight is what it's called. I'm going to swatch it behind Golden Nectar just so, again, we can get an idea of how it looks and works. And then that is Golden Moonlight. And as you can see, so far, none of them looking the same. This one is more icy than the Golden Nectar. But so far, none of them look exact to this one. This one seems like to be more white icy. And to me, this seems a little more silvery icy, if you will. Or more, should I say, pink icy. And it has glitter in it. So it's like a silvery pink icy type highlighter. To me, this is more of a white silver highlighter. And then this is just more of a traditional champagne. So far, none of them are looking exact. If you can find one that's somewhat pinky in tone when it comes to highlight, then I feel like that'll keep you from having to buy this particular highlighter. But, I mean, if you just like the formula and want to buy some more, then, you know, that's up to you. Next, I got the um, Nude Opal. No, sorry, Lunar Nude. Nude Opal is the newest one we have. Sorry. So, let me just go ahead and swatch that. Okay, so that's Lunar Nude right there. And Nude Opal. Again, I feel like it's still not giving the exact same tone as that one. Which, again, is good. Because, you know, we don't want them to have the same tones. I feel like on my hand, though, this is the one that's looking the closest to Nude Opal. Which I thought was going to be the case. And so far, I was right. So, a good alternative for Nude Opal up here at the top would be the Lunar Nude. The Lunar Nude is the one that came in the holiday collection from 2020 one or two I want to say don't call me on exactly which one it is I don't exactly remember I have to go back and watch one of my videos the last one I have is incandescent gold number two that's the more white one that came in the Bridgerton collection that everybody was finding at TJ Maxx this one right here so we're gonna swatch that one last and see how she works out and it has a little same cherub in it as this one does And this one is giving more like, you know, like a light white gold, if you will. So it doesn't look the same 
as the one at the top either. See how it's getting more white gold? So the best one, I feel like, as alternative to this one would have to be Lunar Nude. So Lunar Nude and um, Nude Opal are the closest, as I predicted, which I'm kind of surprised about, but you know, that's where they go. So let me show those side by side so you can see. These two right here, the ones that I said were closest in tone. So there you go, honey. Hopefully that was helpful somewhat. This quad feels awfully thin in this packaging, which I'm kind of shocked by. So I will put this on momentarily, but I want to swatch the lipstick next. I'm trying to get all the swatching out of the way before we get into like application and the eye stuff or whatever. And I'm gonna have to pat my face off a little bit because honey, as you can see, the oils are coming through, but I've had this makeup on since, I want to say two o'clock and it's like nine. So the oils are gonna do about seven hours, so. That's not too bad. I'm going to start off with the shade that I told you all I felt like this looked the most similar to. Did I bring that makeup? No, I didn't bring my makeup removal wipe. Maybe I did. Hold on. I got to get my makeup removal wipe off the bed because I think it's still in the packaging on the bed, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so this is the shade I told you all I wanted and I like the tone too. So this is what it looks like. It's just like a honey beige -ish type shade, if you will. So swatch that on my hand real quick. Or on my arm, I should say. It's giving this weird pinkish shade, which I think is weird because it's like, to me, it's looking like really kind of light pinkish with a uh, hint of peach in it, but it's called honey somehow. And it's like, to me, this is not like a honey shade at all. Now that I'm seeing it swatched out, because when I was looking at it initially, I'm like, oh, okay, if it's supposed to be honey, then it'll be more like, you know, peachy tone, the beige tone. Like, no, this is so pinky tone. So it's like, now I got to go reinvestigate my decision. So hold on, y'all. I'll be right back. But I am going to swatch that one. I told you all I thought it looked similar to when I saw the pictures, but I can see now already that it's not going to match because that one's truly more of like a nudish, honeyish type tone, which is what the name of the shade was. But as you can see, there's different as day and night. This is the shade I said would work for this shade, but as you can see, they're totally different, which is why sometimes I still go ahead and get the stuff because they're like, I don't know if I'm sending y'all off or not because I'm looking at pictures and I don't have the product in my hand, but you clearly see the shade Lady from um, Juvia's Place is not similar to this one at all. So now I need to go reevaluate life and go grab some pinky shades. I'm going to go grab some pinky shades to show you all to compare and then I'll be right back. Okay, girl? Okay, y'all. So here are the ones I swatched. So as y'all know, this is Honey Talk. This one is... Which one was this? This is Gamer Girl from the Marielle and Colourpop collection. This one is Roller Skate from Rim Beauty. This one is the uh, Daphne lipstick from um, Round 2 of Scooby-Doo and Glamlight. And then this one is Dirty Talk from e.l.f. So these are all the ones I feel like look somewhat similar to these. I feel like these are still somewhat darker. The only one I feel like is really close to being on point are the first two so that would be the gamer girl one i feel like it's really similar to the pat mcgrath one so you'll see that underrated versus overrated and then i feel like the roller skate one from ariana grande rim beauty is really similar so that's all i have when it comes to all the swatches of everything when it comes to lipsticks i do have the other lipstick but i know it's not a color that i'm gonna wear so i'm not gonna like pull it out and swatch it and do all that stuff for you because it's like I don't want to um, have something happen to it and then I, you know, you end up, I end up not, well I know I'm not going to use it and then I just wasted time as far as that goes and messed up something that need to be messed up. So I'm trying to be good and not, you know, do that or whatever. So I'm going to hold that for a giveaway in the future and then they gave me a free blush for my purchase so i'm gonna hold that for giveaway as well so they gave me a full size version of the shade called cherish the bright pink one that's really popular right now bright pink blushes so it's gonna go in the give it by box for the future which is why you're not gonna see it now but let me go pat my face off with all this grease you think i did that while i was doing on lipsticks but i was focused on the lipstick so i didn't do that so i'm gonna pat it off then we're gonna put on some highlighter then we're gonna get into this eye quad and compare it to the other eye quad and have a cute little battle moment so i'll be right back okay girl focus okay and make sure you subscribe while I'm gone. Okay, y'all, on to the highlighter. So I went and patted my face down. It may not look like it, but I did pat it down. So it's not as crazy as it once was. Um, so let's see how what we're working with, with this highlighter. Okay, so she's 
She's looking nice and glittery, you know. She's nice and glittery. It's not like overpowering sparkle glitter, but she's giving she is giving us a glittery moment. Oh god, y'all got to tell you the stuff on my teeth. I mean it lipstick is all in my teeth. But yeah, so dust this on politely I took my eyeshadow off to make sure I could just go into the eye portion of the video once I do that but I realize now I still can't because I put this lipstick on and I have to try that lipstick so either way I'm still gonna have to like turn it off because I gotta go take this off and get a lip liner to be able to put lipstick on in here so hot mess hot mess yeah it's definitely a nice highlighter the way all her highlighters are it's just a question of since i feel like it's similar to the um lunar new one that i really liked i don't feel like this was necessarily a necessary one and i didn't swatch venetian nude with this but maybe i should but again that's what she looks like let me swatch venetian nude and we can see how they compare because that's the holiday one from what was it 2020 and what did i say 2022 which makes me think Lunar Nude, Lunar Nude was 2021. Yeah, this one is Venetian Nude. I just feel like this one would be much deeper than that one. And if you all remember, I wasn't necessarily a fan of this one. I know Dion likes this um, one. I wasn't personally a fan. So this is Venetian Nude and this is Nude Opal. She loves to put the word nude and stuff. I don't know what that's about, but... Yeah, I don't feel like those are um, that close in tone. Like I said, I feel like the one that is best in tone is, what is it, um, what's it called? L Lunar Nude. But I will be comparing all of these in a shorts along with some other palettes I decide to pull out and try to compare to this quad. So let me get myself together, take this off, and we put the lipstick on. And get into these eyeshadow palettes because I know that's what everybody's excited about and I'm definitely excited and want to compare but we can look at it real quick I get before I go take off the lipstick so this is the packaging the same as the highlighter it says daring desire the name of the quad it feels like it's much thinner and smaller than her other quads and I'm feeling like it's gonna be cardboard I don't know why oh because it is okay so it's just magnetic cardboard packaging instead of her lacquered normal packaging so here's what it looks like on the inside and these are the three shades that I originally gave y'all I look for and told you why you didn't need to get this palette because you know these three shades are in the palette but I'm gonna go take my lipstick off then we'll compare the shades to see how similar they are and I might not have to put them on the eye if I swatch them side by side and they're literally exactly the same okay so I'll be right back okay new day new eyes who this new day new eyes who this so I have on the Adept Cosmetics Element 115 palette. That's what's going on with the eyes right now if anyone cared. I took um, one of those shades that has four or five different shades in it and put it all over the lid. I was, I didn't have time to try to like swatch it out individually to put it individually on the lid. So this is what you're working with. But I think we look real cute. Y'all know this is my type of vibe, murky eyes. But I'm going to put on this lip color real quick. So let's put it on. Remember this is the shade Honey Haze. So... I'm gonna put this on, then I gotta go film another video because, you know, this eye looks too cute not to. And then I will come back and we will talk about the palette. Now, I don't have any comparisons for you just because I'm mainly trying to focus on the fact that it's repeat shades from one of her palettes. So, what? I'll try to get y'all a reel up this week about it or something. I don't know, girl. So I was concerned about the shade not necessarily working for me, but it worked out just fine. I don't know what I was really concerned about. I guess I thought it was going to be a little too like, light because in the pictures it looked like it was going to be light, but she's cute. She worked out just fine. I like it. As I expected too, it's a nice creamy formula, but since it's supposed to be her matte trance, it's still supposed to be mattifying, but still have, you know, like a nice comfortable feel to it, if you will. And it does. So let me see. Does it look close to the shade I thought it looked close to? What did I put that lipstick? Y'all... 
watch one more. Okay, no, it's not close to that one like I thought. Okay, like I said, I will be back for us to discuss the eyeshadows. Let me back it on up a little bit so we can show both of those, swatch both of them. Maybe I should just go ahead and swatch both of those and then we'll do both of them on camera to see if the texture of them is the same and all that. So, to show y'all this is what it looks like. I'm pretty sure I already opened this up before, but you know, humor me. Okay, just, just, just humor me, girl. Since I finally went home and got this because I thought it was gonna come later than it did. So I was thinking like I'd be able to do my reels and stuff at home and do a little, little teaser and put it on Instagram and all that. But she, mother was not playing with me this time. She was like, you will get it before um, Dr. Ash and her makeup this time. And I was like, okay. Even though I don't think Ashley ordered this. To be honest, I don't blame her. If she has this, there's no point in having this. But y'all know me, I have to compare and all that stuff. So I have to have both. But um, this is the Jewel Temptation palette. And this is the da Daring Desire. I don't know why that's so difficult for me to say and yes the shades are definitely looking quite similar just looking at it right here so as you can see there's those two shades right there there's the red up there and then the purple down there just looking at the purples in the pan they look like they both shift in the shade but i'm starting off with the boring shade of course the brown i'm gonna start with the boring brown so i swatch from the um you know the um the original palette is jeweled What did I just call it? Whatever I just called it, y'all. I already forgot what the name of it was, but you know. Mother has so much stuff, and I have so much of mother stuff, so I was like, mm. And then I'm going to do the, um, the more garnet shade. Nice, smooth, metallic-y looking shade. Wipe my fingers off from the brown so we can get to its purple because I don't want it to change the shade of either one of the shades that we're swatching. Just wipe it off on my pants real quick because I don't want my hands to be wet with makeup removal. Wipe. Okay. Oh yes, I'm still in love with the purple. It's it's fine to have two with the purple as far as I'm concerned, but we all know. I am what? A purple palette connoisseur. So that includes purple eyeshadow shades in general as well. So, so here are all of the shades. Let me do that purple one again. Yeah, so that's what they look like. So this is the brown from the original palette. This is the brown from the quad. This is the satin from the original palette. This is the satin from the quad. And then this is the purple from the original palette and this is the purple from the quad so they're both giving the shifting shades and all that let me build up the brown a little bit more because i feel like it's not giving as much okay so yeah that's what everything is looking like so i'm more mainly excited about the purple ones and glad that um you know both the purples are the same because that was the main reason i wanted it like i said i'm a purple palette connoisseur so i'm excited that both the purples are gonna work out so now i want to see if the quality is gonna be on the same as the eyes as it is in here so we're gonna do that in a few minutes but like i said i gotta film this other video real quick but again close up take a good look remember this is um both of the shades this is what is this one um this one is daring desire this one is star garnet and this one is amethyst noir so those are the three that came out of the jeweled what the jeweled temptation and they put in the Daring Desire. Which makes sense because one of the shades is named Daring Desire. The, which I think is hilarious because how you name it a brown shade Daring Desire? What is daring about brown? What? What is daring about this brown shade, mother? I'm confused. I just, I just, mm, child, child. Anyway, I'll be back after I've taken both these eyes off and we can see how both of them perform together. Okay, okay. I am going to have to put a base shade down though just because like that brown is a little bit too dark for out of view so i will come back with a base shade on and find whatever palette i'm gonna do so i can show you what it is now when i come back i brought my patrick top palette with me for the video i'm about to do now so i just take a basic shade out of here matter of fact let me open it up and see the basic shade i'm gonna take girl i don't know um i guess i'll take this one right here so i'm gonna use this one and that's gonna be my um transition shade to start off with and then we'll use the brown and the crease in that and the outer bead so that that's what we'll be working with now okay girl Okay, I'll talk to you in a few. Okay, y'all, so I've returned. I'm gonna turn down these lights a little bit. They got a little bright when I went to do the other video. So I have two of each one of the brushes I'm gonna use so you can see like 
I'm not repeating. I get two, what is it, BK Beauty 203s. I get two Sigma Detail Diffuse Crease Brushes, E33s. And then I got two Detail Blending Brushes, E27. So I'm going to use one of each, one of these on each eye. So then that way you can see. And we'll see how the formula performs. I already told y'all what I use in the crease. So when you get in that, so let's just get into this. So I'm going to start off with the Detail Diffuse Crease Brush. We're going to take that same brown that we're going to put on the outer V and put that on lid. And we're going to start off with the old palette. So we're going to go into Darling Desire or Daring Desire. And start diffusing this into the crease. I like this brush for like when you want to put color down but you don't want to hold a lot of color. And you want it to be, well, diffused uh, nicely into the crease. So I'm just taking this. I didn't pick up a lot on the pan but it's quite pigmented and it's oxidizing quite nicely in the crease into a deeper shade so i'm liking that i made my lower lash line isn't gonna you know, like necessarily go with the look but i guess it kind of does because blue and purple go together nicely y'all know that's one of my favorite combinations to do so i'm like i guess it's not gonna be too bad but you know i'm letting my car run outside so when i get ready to leave i can just leave because I still have to take Asian game over to school and then I have to come back here again because um, the plumbing in my house is acting up. And the plumber's gonna be there like nine in the morning and my room is literally right next to the bathroom. So I'm like, yeah, no, we're not doing that at all. I still gotta go to work all this week. What we will not do is that. So I have to be over here to like, I wanna say two o'clock for the next two days and then get up and go pick Asian game over from school, which is like an hour away from here. So I'm praying that they get the bathroom fixed before the week is up. Because, honey, I'm not trying to travel all week long. Okay. Now I'm taking the clean brush. Uh, and I just dipped it in to Daring Desire. And we're going to see how similar they look in the piece. Because I want to see that the formulas perform the same. And they're giving, like, the same color. And same color payoff and all that. That's why I'm trying to make sure I use two of the same tools. So sometimes, like, it's good to have, like, two and three of the same brushes. Especially if you ain't influencer or if you just really like the brush so i have a lot of sigma brushes i do have a color with sigma if you care to use it it's just gel beauty that's the one place where it's not gel beauty 87 everybody else just J gel beauty 87 but no they just said gel and i was just like okay well gel beauty it is and just dipping in and blending this out nicely so so far i feel like we're looking the same like exactly the same so, what y'all thinking? I feel like they look exactly the same. They blended exactly the same. They worked out exactly the same so far. So, we're going to go back into the same shade now and put it on the outer V in our Sigma E27 Detail Diffuse Crease Brush. I mean, Detail Blending Brush. Sorry. looks similar to me so now we're gonna go into the other palette and the brush is clean as you can see so this is the dirty one this is the clean one I made sure I had to every brush girl because I was like what we not gonna do is say I cheated so I did not put it out just as nicely and smoothly as another one. I just went ahead and did the other eye I had, was already working on since it was the same color anyway. So that's why I didn't like hold up each palette. But I'm going to hold it up when it comes to the shimmers. And do that when we get there. Now I don't think I have it. Um, the same inner corner. Well, do I have to? Oh, okay. I, do I have to do the same inner corner brush? I feel like I do. Okay, yeah, I have two of the same inner corner brush too, thank goodness. So, we'll get to that. So, now I'm going to go into the Noir, I'm sorry, Amethyst Noir in this palette. So, let's cut it with some glitter glue real quick. With some glitter glue brush.
Okay, so that's what we're working with. So I'm going to take my clean brush. I mean, both of them clean right now, but you know. Take my two or three from BK Beauty. And I'm using the Jules Temptation Palette. Ooh, honey. It's like every time I do this eye look, I'm just like, yes. Like, this is a stunning shade. Like, this is definitely one of the shades that stole the show in the palette for me and the reason I purchased it. So I'm like, yes, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Yes, girl, I'll give it to me. So it's stunning. I'm just going to put the inner corner in now as well with this palette, the Jewel Foundation. So when we had to come back, and this is the um, Star Garnet. And so we're done with it. So, so we're working with. I might put some fun, cool eyeliner on for the um, picture. It depends on how much time I have or how much I feel like doing it. Because I plan on just taking the pictures and leaving, to be honest. So I'm probably not going to get to any eyeliner. So I'm sorry in advance, but like, girls, like 4 30 in the morning, I said, I drive back to my house, get up in basically three hours because I should get home by five o'clock to take Asian game over to school then drive back out here and be back out here by like probably 8 30 8 45 something like that so I'm like I gotta do all that so here is my clean brush for the daring desire palette we're gonna take this amethyst no more and see how she goes on Just a stunning honey. I feel like this one looks a little bit brighter. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I feel like it's most likely just me because it's like 4 30 in the morning. I'm just like, oh, sparkly. Ooh, that one's sparkly too. But that one looks sparklier. Why? I don't know. I was going to blame on being tired after a while, okay? Okay. Get my inner corner shade and then we we'll round it up talk about my thoughts as a whole girl i will sh swatch the champagne shade real quick in the front of my hand so this is what the champagne shade looks like it'd be a nice inner corner shade if you want to do like a simple red look with like these two and just put that in your inner corner i think that'd be really nice too but i was trying to test all the shades in this one that's in this one so needless to say if you have this one don't waste your time buying this one unless you're gonna sell this one on Macari or something and you prefer having a smaller quad because I prefer having the quad I would definitely take this on vacation and since it's cardboard I feel like I don't have to care as much about something happening to it maybe it's just me but that's how I feel so those are my thoughts on the product I feel like if you already have the jewel temptation you don't need this if you already have the highlight I talked about you don't need this so it's like you really pretty much don't need this. I like the lip color, but I showed you an alternative from ColourPop for the lip color. So this collection to me isn't necessary. It's just if you want it, okay, but you don't have to have it. You'll be fine with it. But that's just my opinion. But be blessed, girl. Bye, and make sure you subscribe. Okay, bye.